Welcome back to the monthly mistake series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five mistakes that I find in May. So let's get started by 30 to 20 Q mistake. All right, so right now is black to play. Um, so pretty much black is, is making a moyo in the top, top area on the board. Um, so it's a still pretty early and I would say it's still an even game. It's Mm, maybe a black is a little bit ahead because white's corner in the top right corner is pretty small. Um, so the next move black plate is attached here. So why is this the mistake? I actually noticed that a lot of beginners, uh, especially from the 30Q to 20Q players, like to play attachment move a lot because um, I think they might think uh, attaching is the most direct way to start uh, a fight on the board. But you know what? In the opening, uh, we should always try to avoid the attach. First, you know, you're not sure whether the time the timing is correct because uh, usually in the opening, we don't have a lot of stones on the board. And if we only have a couple of stones and your opponent also have a couple of stones on the board, how are you, how are you sure? It's the good timing for you to start the fight. All right. Uh, so usually the attachment move works in the sabaki uh, situation. So probably you have a question about sabaki. What is a sabaki? All right. So it's going to be a very long story to talk about sabaki. Uh, it's a specific move uh, to invade your opponent's area. So if you if you are interested in the sabaki moves or the sabaki uh, situations, you can leave the comments below and let us know. Then we can make um, a video about uh, sabaki. All right, so let's go back to the uh, the move right now. Mm, so what happened in this game is after the attach, white extended here, black uh, extended, white extended, black extended. Yeah, it's very common to see these uh, attachment moves. Um, in the beginner games um, and then after white extended the third time and the white started a uh, hane and double hane All right so this is what happened in the actual game so as we can see uh, it's not pretty efficient way for black to expand the moyo on the top because um, Yeah, so black expanded some moyo on the top But at the same time white is also expanding the moyo on the bottoms So if we compare the two moyos between black and white It is very hard to see who is having a bigger moyo or bigger territory, All right? so then what's the correct way for black to expand the moyo or influence on the top it's right here that's the move if i'm black then i will play this move so as we can see black it's pretty solid on the right side we have a lot of stones but on the left side it's like we're missing a kind of a wall the door is still open so if we are able to enclose the door on the left side and enclose the entire center then all the territory on the top or uh, including the center is Black's territory. And at the same time, the mm, the reason why I chose this move is because while I'm expanding the moyo in the center, at the same time, I'm uh, giving more pressure to this white stone. So if let's say if white tanuki, then later on, it's very easy for me to attack this white stone. All right, so now let's look at the next mistake. The next mistake is played by 19 to 10 kill players. Uh, as you can see, yes, it is a pretty early game. It's only the eighth move and white started making a mistake. So what happened is white kicked and black extended and then white played a one space pincer. So the one space pincer is a mistake. Mm, so I want to talk about the, the kick first before we talk about the, the mistake. Um, back to 2019 when AlphaGo uh, didn't appear to our human world uh, the kick joseki is not acceptable because um, after get after the kick move here then white has to play the one space jump to protect the corner and it gives black a perfect three space extension on the side it's just too comfortable for black 
But I think right now efficiency is more important in the modern go.、Uh, so there, are, it is more common to play this variation or this joseki now. Is because、uh, even though black has a perfect extending move on the side, but、uh, as we can see, the territory of blacks、um, on the side is not that big compared with the white's corner. All right, so let's go back to the actual game. The reason why the one space pincer is the mistake is because、um, the corner now is not settled yet,、um, and we know the correct move to to continue the joseki is to one space jump. So、uh, you probably have have seen this move a lot in your own games, and you don't know what's the correct way. A lot of people don't know what's the correct way to respond the mistake in the joseki. All right. Uh, so the correct move for black is to attach here, and white now has to use the hane to get more eye space, and black extend it. White now has a cutting point in the corner, so he has. Oh, white has to fix it, and then black now can turn and enclose the entire corner. So let's compare this variation with the actual、uh, joseki. So in In the actual joseki, white is very、uh, comfortable, and the territory in the corner is quite big. But、uh, for the actual game,、um, the corner is getting smaller, and the the black shape on the outside is getting bigger. And plus,、uh, after black surrounds the entire white corner, and black gets more potential on the and a moyo on the on the right side. Especially、um, the one space pincer here, since black's shape is already very strong, it's pretty strong already. Then the one space pincer is just too close to the strong wall. All right, so now let's look at the next mistake. The next mistake is played by nine to one kill players. All right, now it's black's turn.、Uh, white just、uh, used the peep here to attack these two black stones. So what happened in this game is、um, uh, white chose to play the two space、uh, two space pincer, and then black played a one space jump.、Mm, I actually have seen many people play the one space jump. Uh, um, I'm not saying one space jump is a mistake, but I feel like、um, a lot of people、uh, are kind of confused between. Uh, one space jump and two space jump. When is the good time to、uh, make the one space jump? When is the correct time to make a two space jump? All right. So if you can keep this in mind, if you are responding to the closer pincer or the one space pincer, then you have to use the one space jump to jump out. There's no other moves that you can escape, because if you play the two space jump, then your stone approach move will get cut off. Right. But if white play or your opponent plays the further further pincer, or a three space pincer, or two space pincer, it doesn't matter.、Uh, further than one space pincer, then you can use the two space jump, because right now the cutting point is not that severe. Even though white tries to cut, but white still has to come back to connect that stone. So there's no problem for you or for black、uh, to connect that stone or. Black can use the attach here and get a trade. Yeah. So the two space jump is an option to continue this joseki. But I'm saying here is you don't have to play the one space jump to escape. The two space jump is also an option、uh, to continue this joseki. All right. So in in the actual game, black played a one space jump and white peeped, which I think is not is not necessary to. To make that exchange move right now, because、uh, you can use that peep anytime you want. But after the peep, the corner is getting weaker, and there's more centes for black.、Um, for example, the hane. So without the peep,、um, if white just simply play the knight's move, if black is still used attach and hane, then white now can cut through from the top. That's the difference. So I don't think the peep is necessary for now. But in the actual game,、uh, black didn't connect. Black played an extending move on the on the bottom.、Um, I wouldn't. 
I would not say this is a mistake uh, because actually the push and cut is not a very good move for, for white to play as well. But the next move is the mistake for black. Uh, so in the actual game, black played a bump um, and then white enclosed down the top and black now has to live on the bottom and give the outside to, black, to white. And as you can see, the outside influence is pretty big. So what is the correct way to respond to the push here, which is the Hane. Um, so when we Hane, every time when we play a Hane on the board, then we have to worry about the cut. But the cutting point here on the board is not very um, serious. And it's actually a cutting point is a mistake for, black, for white. Then the entire corner now will get captured. So most likely it, it's going to happen like this. Uh, after the Hane, white has to turn a stone, and then black can uh, connect back. So this variation, compared with this variation uh, with the actual game, then black is much better because not only you got this move, but also black um, is able to break through. All right, so now let's look at the next mistake. The next mistake is played by one to four down player. Yeah, that's the game. Uh, you probably have a question, where is the mistake? Everything looks fine. Uh, what is having, a, what is building the territory on the influence on the left side, and black is uh, doing something on the right side, then where's the mistake? The mistake is the connecting move here. How is this a mistake? Probably you have the question in your mind already. All right, um, the reason why the connecting move is a mistake is because after white connects here, it seems white fixed all the weakness on the left side already. Uh, there is no big difference between a connect and a capture, but that's wrong. Because um, if, white can, if white just simply capture the stone, there's no more RG, there's no more potential weakness on the left side. Even though after black use some uh, reduction move here, then the white can just focus on attacking this entire group. But if we connect here, there are a lot of potential weaknesses in Aji for the later game. So connecting here is like an equivalent of losing a half move. So for example, later on, if Black used the reduction move here, the shoulder hit, um, and as you can see, there's if White plays some moves on the top to continue attacking these two stones, as you can see, there are many sente moves here for, for black to make eye space. Okay. So if we're if black if white already captured that stones, then we can we can avoid all the sentes for black to invade later. Alright. So I actually have been have seen a lot of uh, players have trouble to make uh, not trouble. Have uh, they're not sure when is it, when is time to connect? When is time to capture? All right. So if the situation like this, after you connect and you the connecting move will leave some potential ajis or weaknesses, then you should definitely think about or consider a better move. Um, if the connecting move doesn't leave any weakness, then that's fine. That's totally fine. Mm, so, for example, if white already surround the territory on the left side, say white already have the stones here, then the connecting move and the capture move actually doesn't have a much difference. But in this situation, yes, the connecting move is better because you get more points. Uh, so in this situation, the connecting move won't give white any potential weakness or Aji, then the connecting move is better. All right, so now let's look at the next mistake. The next mistake is played by a 90 uh, player against a 70 player on KGS. So uh, now it's White's turn, and uh, the player with White is one of our friends. I just don't want to mention his name because I don't want to put myself in trouble because probably after he sees this game, and he will say, why did you choose the game that I lost? All right, um, so... Anyway, let's go back to the game. Uh, uh, as we can see, Black is building a Moyo in the center. And I think right now it's too hurry for White to invade. Uh, 
so in the actual game, we played attachment move here. So it's one of the probing move. And the purpose of this move is to try to um, ask Black uh, to respond, how to respond. And then you can decide whether you're going to keep reducing or keep invading or you can to no keep. All right. But this move um, got white, uh, got my friend into a trouble. Uh, so what happened is Black Hanid, and since Black Hanid here, then there's no way for White to Tanuki anymore. Otherwise, there's no point to make that exchange move. Uh, white Hanid again, and try to make the shape lighter, or the group lighter. And then Black used a very extreme attacking move and cut these two stones off. And right now, White doesn't have any choices anymore. White has to find a way to live. All right, this is what White uh, did in the actual game. So White captured the stone. Mm. So after this move, I was thinking, uh, is there any way for White to live? <laughs> it seems uh, White is already dead, but eventually uh, White managed to live on the side, but it's really um, uncomfortable. All right, then Black enclosed on the top. And White has to push to get this, oh, push one more, to get this tiger's mouth as a sente. And Black connects back, and White pushes again, and blocked. So up to this move, uh, I think White is already alive, because uh, we there's a real eye on the top. And then White can use the sentes here. Mm. So right now, Black cannot connect anymore because white can push here since white has a tari move here already then white can use the first line honey to connect and kill these two stones so that's why in the actual game um, black connected here and white captured black connects and white now has to use the first line kasumi to live uh, black altari that's absolute sente. White has to make the another eye. So, uh, yes, eventually White su successfully invaded and made a life on the site, but pretty much White already lost this game. Uh, so after Black gets two uh, two moves on the first line, especially the T seven move here, connecting here, it's going to be a sente later. So White has to live. Um, so. Tiger's mouth should be better. All right, let's look at Black's entire wall. So from the top to the bottom. So on the right side, White only has uh, six points on the top right corner and around six points on the bottom right corner. Then there's only 15 points because there are two points here, around 15 points on the right side. So the value of the entire wall of black is way more than 15 points so there's no there's no way for white to win this game unless black played very poorly at the end but yeah so black played normally and then black won this game all right so these are the five mistakes of may hope you like it if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like to support us you can just simply follow the link here and don't forget to follow us on twitter facebook and instagram so my name is stephanie and i will see you next time